Hey Cosmo family, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a Florida Cosmetology State Board pop quiz. You're going to need paper or notepad, pen or pencil. I'm going to allow you 15 seconds to answer each question. If you need additional time, just go ahead you know, and pause the video. And then we're going to review each question and at the end I'll provide you with the grading scale to let you know how you did. So let's get into it. Question number one. If you fail your examination twice, how many hours must you return to school? When waxing eyebrows, which direction do you pull the fabric strip to remove hair? What is Kennedy's? What color is level one? Okay, I just realized that I wasn't saying the numbers, so I'll start now. Don't want to start over. Question number five. A zero degree blunt cut requires elevation. True or false? Question number six. The human immunodeficiency virus is also known as? Question number seven. The range of numbers used on the pH scale is? Number eight, pin curls with large center openings fastened to the head in a standing position on a rectangular base similar to a roller set is also called a. Question number nine. The technique of drying and styling damp hair in one operation is called? Question number 10. What are the primary colors? Perfect. Now that you're done, let's jump right into the review. Question number one. If you fail your examination twice, how many hours must you return to school? The answer is 40 remedial hours. Question number two. When waxing eyebrows, in which direction do you pull the fabric strip to remove hair? In the opposite direction of hair growth. Remember that. In the opposite direction of hair growth. What is Kennedy's? Kennedy's is just a technical term for gray hair. So the answer is gray hair. Question number four. What color is level one? The answer is black. Remember the scale is set up from darkest to lightest. True or false? Question number five. 
A zero degree blunt cut requires elevation. The answer is false. Remember elevation is measured in degrees. So if it's a blunt cut zero degrees, that means there is no elevation. Question number six. The human immunodeficiency virus is also known as HIV. Question number seven. The range of numbers used on a pH scale is zero to 14. Remember zero to six is acidic, seven is neutral, and eight to 14 is alkaline. Question number eight. Pin curls with large center openings fastened to the head in a standing position on a rectangular base, similar to a roller set, is called a barrel curl. So remember, you know, roller sets look just like a barrel, so it's called a barrel curl because it looks just like a roller set. Question number nine. The technique of drying and styling damp hair in one operation is called blow dry styling. Question number 10. What are the primary colors? Red, blue, yellow. Again, that is red, blue, yellow. I don't know if you want to make an acronym for yourself like RBY or BRY, something like that. So you can always remember that your primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Okay, perfect. Now that we reviewed the test, let's go over the grading scale. So if you got one wrong, that's 90%. If you got two wrong, that's 80%. If you got three wrong, you're in between. That's like 70%. Four is 60. Five is 50%. Six is 40%. Seven is 30%. Eight is 20%, and nine is 10%. And if you got them all wrong, you got a zero. And if you got them all right, you got a hundred. When taking the state board, 75% is considered passing. So if you got zero, one, or two wrong, you are good to go. If you got three wrong, you're at like 70%. So you're almost there, just a little bit more. Anything below that, we need to practice a little harder before we actually go and take that test. So thank you guys for stopping by and taking a pop quiz today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook at Innocent Hair 9 My personal Instagram is Vanessa the and my business Instagram is innocent hair nine. You guys have a great day.